what's up what's up what's up youtube welcome back to my channel tia topics i am tia and today's topic is hair so today i will be coloring my hair but before i tell you what color if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that button now today i'm going to be coloring my hair a silverish gray color as you can see my hair is super white and blonde right now but my sides are brown so first off i'm going to be bleaching my sides to match my hair up here and then i'm going to be adding in the color the things that you're going to need are 30 volume developer bleaching powder mixing bowl mixing brush a measuring cup 050 and t18 toner 20 volume developer the first thing i'm going to do is bleach my hair so i'm gonna make that mix let's get started Because I have been bleaching and dyeing my hair for a while, I don't usually take measurements for this. I just go off of texture. So you don't want it to be too thin and you don't want it to be too thick. So you just have to find that balance. If it's too thin, you add a little bit more powder. If it's too thick, you add a little bit more developer. Before bleaching and before dyeing, I always apply Vaseline to the edges of my hairline so that the bleach doesn't take there and also so the color doesn't take there. It's just a protection measure. After putting bleach onto the sides, I went into my roots because my roots are like this orange color. I recently just took color out of my hair, but I didn't bleach my roots over. So whatever grew out turned to this like light brown orange type of color. So I'm just going to go in and correct that with a little bit of bleach, making sure not to get any bleach on my ends because they are already platinum blonde. So the first bleaching application, it made the sides like this yellowish color. You can't really tell on camera, but it's like a little tinted of yellow. So I went over with a little bit more bleach so that I was able to achieve the blonde, nearly white color that I was aiming for. Now for the color mixture. So I took the T18 and I did four parts of the T18 to three parts of the 050 and then I added four parts of the 20 volume. After I mixed it all up, it was really thick. So then I added a little bit more of the 20 volume. Now, if you want it lighter, you're gonna add more of the T18. If you want it darker, you're gonna add more of the 050. The T18 is the ash blonde, the 050 is the grayish color.
I started off placing this color on my shade sides first. Now usually I would do the longer parts of my hair first, but because I'm doing such a light color, I decided to do the shade sides first to make sure that the color would take on my shade sides because I barely have any hair there and I was just being more cautious than anything and I went in and parted my hair in thin parts and applied the color onto my hair until I had no more hair to cover with the color. <laughs> y'all so this was the color that I was able to achieve it didn't take as much on this side that it did this side this side is a little more blonde than this side it's pretty silverish grayish with like a hint of purple so I really want to see what it looks like when I style and dry it right now I'm pretty happy with the color I didn't want it to be too light and I didn't want it to be too dark so, this is what happened. Now, gotta style this. Well, wash and condition it. I just rinsed it out. I didn't wash or condition it yet. I wanted to see the color before I did any of that. Ah! <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go ahead and style my hair. Thank you. 